morning. I'm Ruth Med, the Executive Chair of Women on Boards, and welcome to my two weekly review of the WOB Jobs Board. This is a thing that we do throughout most of the year to encourage you to think about themes that are running through the Jobs Board as well as just looking at the vacancies. And of course, these themes relate to what we talk about in Kickstarter, where we try and point you in the direction of a suitable set of objectives for your board career. So today, my topic is housing and some related um, postings. Housing is really, really important for women. Um, affordable housing is even more important as women escape domestic violence and difficulties um, with their domestic circumstances. Um, so affordable housing boards has been a topic that we've pushed hard in our workshops and on the jobs board for many years. Um, and the government is getting really a bit more serious about it, I think, just at the present following the new uh, government being elected. So I've got half a dozen housing related opportunities for you. Some are unpaid, some have got expenses and some are paid. And this is the characteristic of the sector. It evolves from basically um, unpaid boards. Uh, they become more professional and they get larger rent rolls as we call them, and then they become paid. So it's a really interesting sector to keep an eye on. Um, probably New South Wales and Victoria are the most advanced, but the other states are fast catching up. So first up, 27005, Women's Housing Company Limited, based in New South Wales, closes on the 31st of July, and it's offering expenses. And Women's Housing Company Limited is a specialist provider of housing and homelessness services to women with and without children. And they're looking for a fairly set of standard set of governance skills, finance, human resources, marketing, fundraising, and property development. So if that's something of interest, please take a look on the jobs board. Next up, we've got 27066, Kena Ora, Homes and Communities New Zealand one of the regular New Zealand postings that we get on our website. Um, this is paid and um, it closes fairly soon, but I'm including it because of its interest and to show you that New Zealand is alive and well. So they provide good quality affordable housing for the New Zealand population. And they also are looking for the fairly standard set of skills that you need to be on a housing board, financial oversight, project management, industrial relations, and urban planning in this case. Next up, 27053, DV, DV Connect, which is in Queensland. This is an unpaid role. DV Connect helps to find pathways to safety away from domestic family and sexual violence. It provides emergency transport and accommodation. And they're looking for business operations, governance, and risk management skills. So once again, a fairly typical um, organization that's focusing more on um, generally women in distress and needing emergency housing. Next up, 27030, Havelock Housing ACT. When, when I was in Canberra many years ago, Havelock House was a um, hostel for newly arrived public servants in Canberra. These days, it's a very innovative precinct and it houses Havelock Housing ACT. This one closes on the 31st of August. It's unpaid. And their aim is to reduce homelessness and housing insecurity providing, by providing safe, secure homes. The theme is, is obvious. It runs through all of these vacancies. They're looking for accounting law, business development, and fundraising. So if you're in the ACT or nearby, you might want to consider that. Next up, 26968, Loddon Mallee Housing Services Limited in Victoria. Closes on the 25th of July, so be a bit quick. This one pays. It's provider of, a provider of integrated homelessness and housing services. So once again, a focus on people in distress, and that's often women escaping domestic violence. So they're looking for finance, risk management, cybersecurity, business development and property development. As you see, it's a very standard set of criteria. And finally, I've got 27130, which is Community Housing Limited, which is a national body, closes on the 3rd of August, and they're looking for a C-suite executive. We don't post many executive roles on WOB, but we do post things that are 
you know, to do with our social purpose and our interests in supporting women. So here's one that's up there. Not-for-profit organisation managing over 11,000 new and existing properties. A very large organisation, this. Something that some, some of you who might be looking for your next or last um, C-suite role might be interested in. And they're looking for, you might guess this, business operations, um, housing skills, and C-suite experience. So that's my uh, one, two, seven housing bodies for you to consider. Really think seriously about offering yourself to a housing body. It's very rewarding. Um, my colleague Claire Braund is one on the is on one on the central coast, um, which provides emergency housing, and that was recently on our jobs board as well. Um, okay. In addition to that, I've just got a couple of other um, boards to mention that are similar. Um, first up, 27100 is the Infants Home Child and Family Services in New South Wales. I used to be on the board of this many years ago. Um, it closes on the 5th of August. They offer expenses. They offer early childhood education, early intervention, and allied health services to create opportunities for young children and their families. And they particularly focus on people at risk, uh, children at risk. They've got a... Um, um, a supportive program where they offer reduced fees, um, a very worthy, innovative organisation. Um, they want uh, finance, governance, risk management, business transformation and strategy. And there's been a number of WOB members on this board following me, I should say. Um, so I commend that to you if you're in the Ashfield area in particular. And finally, 27082, Kudos Services in South Australia closes on the 29th of July, and this is a paid role. This organization assists children, young people, and adults living with disability and their families. So once again, um, something that's not directly housing, but it's got a component when you're looking to assist people. And they're looking for governance, disability services, and strategy. So there we have it. This is the housing edition of Ruth's um, Vacancy Board Review. I hope you found it a bit interesting. And my tip for the week, it's a busy time uh, for recruitment of board members at this time of the year. School holidays are just about to end. We get into the full flow of um, recruitment. So keep an eye out for vacancies. There's lots on the vacancies board. But more importantly, you must have a CV that's board ready and a linked pro LinkedIn profile that's consistent with your CV. Most people will look at your CV and then they'll look at your LinkedIn profile. And if they don't align, they'll get a little bit confused and it will reduce your chances of becoming a member of the board that you've put your hand up for. So happy days. I hope everybody's safe and well. And uh, till next time. <laughs>